We got another first timer. Another first timer. Please welcome Jonathan Shankup. I'm just marking my territory, okay? All right, uh, first of all, I want to dedicate this uh, show tonight to a girl named Kelly Briggs. None of you know Kelly Briggs. My friend Tommy and I, oh, first of all, I want to change names to protect the innocent, but I'm gonna fucking do it anyway, so I don't care. There was a girl Kelly Briggs I went to college with, and you guys know that girl in college when you first, well, you, I don't know unless you like chicks, which is good for me, it works for me. But you know that, oh, I'll talk to you. Hey, so, you know the really hot girl when you first get to college and you're like, holy shit, man, she's hot as shit? That was Kelly Briggs, I mean, she was like freaking like smoking, she was like, she was like, she was like uh, falafel with like honey on it. Well, maybe not that, that's fucked up. But so she was, she was hot as shit though, man. I'm telling you, she was so fucking hot. And it was good because two years later, Kelly Br Briggs became a fat piece of shit. I mean, she broke out and everything and her ass got really fat, you know, because it's kind of cool because uh, I, I actually got a girlfriend now. Yeah, and I didn't pay for it, okay? So yeah, yeah, okay, so. So we had a talk. Yeah, I, I never pay for sex on purpose. I'm only when I'm drunk. Like I only suck dick when I'm drunk. But I, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I think. Okay, forget. It. But so I had this girlfriend. I mean, not a girlfriend. She's the girlfriend, the one. You know when you meet the one? Anybody here meet the, the like that first date? You're out. You're like, holy shit. Like you know, your ear, ears are twirling, hearts pumping. You get that feeling in your. Okay, so, so, so I'm sorry. So uh, we had a talk the other day about, like, if I got a, I saw a girl with a really fat ass. I'm talking like down to her ankles kind of ass. And she goes like, what if my ass got that big? And I was like, she goes, you, you still love me, right? And I was like, oh shit, I took too long. So I'm like, I'm fucked. I'm fucked now. And I, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So I'm like, yeah, sure. We just make you work it on. You know, work on it. You know, I give you like two, three days and you'd be the fuck out of there. I'm sorry. Because I'll tell you, I'm a very vain person. See these tits? You see these tits? I paid for these tits. I went over overseas and I got these tits made. And the great thing is, is when I get excited, when my girlfriend plays with my nipples, the silicone comes out and I make little statues. Like I made a little statue of my mother and I gave it to her and she wasn't too happy. She's like, John, what's this? I go, Ma, it's you. It's, it's Silamon. I mean, it's kind of cool, you know. Uh, oh, my brother, you know, my, my brother's a great kid, you know, uh, my, uh, my brother, and he uh, called me, he goes, John, do you have an opening monologue picked out? You know, do you have stuff prepared? And I'm thinking, oh, shit, yeah, right, you're the lawyer and I'm the comedian. Oh, oh, right, you're the, oh, wait, what the fuck are you telling me? So I figured I'd have an opening monologue, which I kind of skipped in my excitement. I saw you and I said, you know, you look like that girl I had back in Korea. And I'm like, oh my God, you're not, you weren't in Korea that time, were you? I was kind of drunk, I did a little too much tequila. But you look like her, you're sexy, you know it. Okay, Is, are you married or anything? Is your boyfriend? Okay, good, I can say that shit. Okay, so, so uh, I was gonna talk about, and you know, you guys have, I don't know, this fucking thing is in my way, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, that's better now. You guys uh, ever have home economics? Do we still have home economics in school? Yeah. yeah. You know what I made? I made one of those red, hot, satin pillows. You know what I used to do with it? I used to rub it against my penis until I came. All the time. That was going to be my opening monologue for my brother. Because you know what, Pete? I gave you that pillow after me, and I never told you what I did with it. I said the stains were from food. They weren't from food. They were from, from, from my love juice. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'm disgusting. Yes, I am. You know what? You know what the cool thing is? You know, when I go to bed and uh, my mom takes off my pants and I'm thinking to myself, God, I'm lucky. Now, it feels kind of weird for a little while, but I go with it because I'm saying, you know, it's my mom. She knows what she's doing. She'll finish the job. Mom, if you're out there, I did not mean that. It's just, I have this switch in my head that makes me do bad things. Do you think I'm a little sexy? I mean, if you look at this ass right now, would you say, that's a sexy little ass? I have a sexy ass. I only wear underwear, you know, on occasions because I like that when it rubs against my pants and I get this really like feeling on me. This guy over here is like, what the fuck is this motherfucker? Is he gonna get off soon? You wanna take my ass? Because I'm telling you, I'm like black belt, like number 6.7. Okay, that's all right, that's not working. All right, so, uh, 
I, I went to college and uh, I went to grad school with my friend. And I have this great friend named Jason. And uh, we like to call him Dirk Diggler because he likes to talk about the size of his cock. So what I want to tell all you girls is, if a, girl, if a guy named Jason ever comes and tries to hit on you, go away because he has kids all over the US. Thank you and have a wonderful day.